Hello friends, I'm Simran, a final year medical student in London, and I'll be starting my first ever job as a doctor this coming August. I know when, but I have no idea where. I've ranked all 20 foundation schools across the UK from my last to my top choice deanery. You guys have been part of my journey as I've studied for my med school exams, reacted to the results, and taken my SJT exam. All these different aspects have had a huge role to play in where I get my job. Today, we'll be finding out where I've been placed and what my job allocations are for the next two years. So make sure you subscribe and stick around to find out. So apparently there's talk on the Twitter about when the allocations will be released. Some people are saying it's going to be like midnight today, tomorrow morning, mid I don't know how to explain this, but midnight. They're going to be released at midnight. And I thought I would start vlogging now. It's like time is 9.36 and I'm feeling so nervous. Like my heart is going on a mad one. Yeah, I'm excited to find out where I'm going to be placed. Obviously, I hope that I get my first choice, but you know, we'll find out where we're going to be going for the next two years. So I'll just vlog the process because firstly, it helps me like keep calm-ish. Um, and secondly, I have something to do whilst I'm waiting because like otherwise I would just be going crazy. Today's Wednesday and on Friday I have my PSA exam. So I'm currently revising for that right now. But I thought I would just pick up the vlogging camera and talk to you guys about how I'm feeling. Let me get back to work. We have exams very soon. <laughs> I really did try to get on with some revision until guys my heart just dropped because i was on my phone scrolling through twitter and then someone has messaged on our year group chat saying the f pass allocations are out and the reason i'm whispering is because i want to check it first and then tell my family so it feels like i've got my ucas results or something out oh my god i don't even know what to type oreo oh this is great in true style the oreo has just crashed what is going on guys why is it crashing right now <laughs> So I rushed downstairs to tell my family and can we just pre their reactions? Hello. Hey Tana. I got into Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> there was lots and lots of hugs, laughter and kisses because we got into our top choice deanery. You got a job. You got a job. Yeah. It was then time to tell my nana and nani about the big big news. Mane mali ki Oxford man nani. I just spoke to my friends and like I'm just so happy for all of us I can't even begin to explain how I'm feeling right now apart from grateful but like there's still a lot that's going to happen from now on so we've got the deanery itself but now we're going to be ranking jobs and what hospitals we want to be at that's going to be a whole process in itself so I don't know exactly where I am just yet but I know the region that I'm at beyond anything the fact that I'm at home and I'm with my family and you guys know how family oriented I am to know that I'm gonna be like here with mom, dad, Alu, Nana, Nani, like everyone. It just makes me so happy to know that I'm gonna come home to my family is just the best thing I could ask for. And I feel like you guys have all been on this journey with me because like, you know, when I got my results in fifth year, I was so upset that I wasn't gonna get into the Oxford Deanery to know in that moment how I was feeling and how I would have felt if I wasn't at home to this moment where I know where I'm gonna be for the next two years. I just hope you guys can see the progression and we're so happy, feeling so giddy, I can't even deal. I'm gonna to go to bed. I need to revise for the exam on Friday. So I'll see you guys later, bye. So guys, it's been a few days since we got the news and like, as you can tell, like I'm still in awe, like I can't believe it. I've been talking to like quite a few Oxford doctors that I found online. One of them has been so helpful. Her name is Demi. I'll link her down below. Make sure you go follow her. She's so sweet and she's been helping me and giving me loads of tips and insights into foundation years at Oxford. So yeah, please make sure you go check her out. Basically, when I applied to Oxford, I didn't realize that Oxford as a deanery has a two-step ranking process. In most deaneries, what happens
happens is that you get the deanery and then you rank all the jobs within the deanery. Whereas in places like Oxford and South Thames, for example, it's a two-step process. So for Oxford specifically, I have to rank in order of trusts where I would like to be at in the first year. We then get allocated our trusts for foundation year one, and then we rank those specific jobs. And clearly I should have done my research, but it is what it is. And for the last few days, I've been like really looking into it. And now it's basically time to rank the trusts that I want to be at. It's actually so nerve wracking. Like it's feeling so much more real. I'm hoping that I get my trust. Um, but the thing is you never know how competitive this is. There's probably like 70 people ahead of me. The trust that I want to go to in the first year only have 50 spaces. So if 50 people above me pick it, then yeah, it's a bit of a shit situation, but it's okay. So as you can see, Buckinghamshire Healthcare NHS Trusts are the hospitals that I want to be at. There's only 50 places. Then the second would be the Oxford University Hospitals NHS Trust, because then in the second year, I'll be more likely to be at the Buckinghamshire Trust. Then it would be Milton Keynes then Frimley, and then Royal Berkshire. That's the rankings done. Sim, the F1, coming through at your local Oxford hospital. Next time you see me, I'll know my trust. So, stay tuned. So guys, today is the 22nd of March. As you can tell, I'm in absolute state right now. Like, I was just doing a history. The spots are coming out because I am super stressed about my exam in a few days. So I think we've received our matching into what to trust that I'm going to be at in the first year. That information is out, so I'm gonna go check now. So nervous. I really hope I've got my first choice. Match to group, oh my God. Okay, match to group. Okay, we have been a matched to a group. Yay! Oh my god! We have been matched to the Buckinghamshire Health NHS Trust. So this was my first choice. Obviously, um, I'm bare gas that I've got it. Like, oh my god, I'm so happy. This means for the first year, I'm going to be closer to home. Oh, this is just going to make my life so much easier. And it's going to mean that the content is going to come through. Next thing is that I'm going to have to rank all the jobs. I'll talk you guys through the process in the next clip. I need to go revise now. But we're in the Buckinghamshire Trust. We got this. The day of my last paces exam, I went to the library to rank the job in order of the ones I wanted the most to the ones I wanted the least. The date is the 29th of March and I'm two days away from doing my first written exam. As you've seen, I've ranked around 50 jobs on a spreadsheet. Now, the main thing is that I need to transfer this over into Oriel, which is the platform that we use to do our applications. I've been putting it off so much because I'm like, oh, I see the age like drag and drop everything. But today is the day. My setup was having my spreadsheet sheet with all the jobs on my iPad and organizing the list on Oriel using my laptop. And we have done it guys. We have finished ranking all the jobs and oh my god. Didn't actually take that long but that's because like it took me ages to do the Excel spreadsheet. Oxford is full of surgical jobs like I can't even deal with the number of rogue surgical jobs there are but I'm hoping I get more of like the med one. And fingers crossed we get one of our top like 20 jobs. I'd be so happy with the top 20 jobs. So that's like 40%. Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted to you guys later. Um, I'm just looking through my choices um, and just making sure everything's okay. The deadline is 12 and I just want to make sure everything is in the right place because yesterday I just put everything down. Um, but today I'm just gonna make sure it's all in the order that I want. After checking over the list quite a few times, guys, I can't lie, and saying a little prayer, it was time to send off my preferences. I'd saved all my preferences, did a little prayer, and now it's all up to, you know, the higher power out there. Fingers crossed it's gonna be okay. So guys, it's the day before my last exam and um, jobs are out. I've, I've been revising this whole time and I'm about to check if I got one of the jobs that I like, so. So I'm really happy with where I am. Hopefully the jobs I have are good as well. Guys, I got my first choice job. Oh my God. My first choice job, like, you know, in fifth year, I didn't even think I was gonna get into Oxford, let alone get my first choice job in the deanery I want. I'm literally so over the moon right now. And, oh, okay, just need to smash up tomorrow and I'll have a little debrief with you guys once I'm over this. But I don't think I'll ever be over it. I can't deal. 
many, so guys, it's been many, many days slash weeks. I don't even know at this point, but I really did forget to update you guys about what my exact rotations were. My first ever rotation that I'm going to be on as a doctor is cardiology for four months. Then I'm going to move on to trauma and orthopedics. And my last rotation as a foundation year one doctor will be acute internal medicine. All of these will be at the Buckinghamshire Trust. My second year jobs will be at the Oxford University Hospital Trusts and I am very excited for this. And my first rotation as a foundation year two doctor will be pediatric surgery. Then I'm gonna move on to GP and my final placement will be emergency medicine. And I am so happy about the rotations I've got. Like I've got a mixture of specialties that I'm interested in. Overall, I'm really happy and I can't wait to start. And of course, if you guys wanna keep up to date with you know my life as a doctor going forward, make sure you guys click the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos that I feel like you'd enjoy. Anyway, guys see you next time bye